I'm Kate Noakes, I'm a designer maker and I've developed a technique of inlaying metal with gesso onto existing furniture. I've visited the hall a few times, but the first site visit, um, walking around uh, the hall was incredible. There's loads of inlaid furniture there already. But the thing that really grabbed my attention was a, a fire screen. I just loved it. I just could see how the embroiderer had used, uh, simplified the forms of the flowers. I've just taken the inspiration from the original fire screen and just, as I say, blown it up. I live and work in the middle of nowhere, really, in um, surrounded by fields, and, um, and that does inspire me a lot because my day just starts with a walk. A lot of the time the furniture will actually uh, influence the design that you do, so it will play a part itself. There is something important for me about what I do, is like taking something that's been overlooked and is probably on its way <coughs> sort of to the garden shed and then, you know, to a skip. And it's just about transforming it back to a really, the heart of the home again. So this piece was lovely because it was up in the, the attic of Normanby Hall. And it, it's the right piece of furniture for the, the room that it's going into, the, the West um, drawing room. Um, and it was in the attic, kind of, it would have, in that it was on its way out, it would have, um, so it's sort of coming back into the hall, which is, I, is a really important part of what I do, the transformation of a piece into something else. I got the, uh, originally picked up the table, and then the next process is to work out how the design is going to fit around. Um, because with the, with the Pembroke table, it was important that it could be seen um, with the with the leaves up and down and it wouldn't look odd um, so that was actually quite a long process of working out how it best worked um, and then as I say you're uh, cutting out the metal and then it's inlaid um, and then I will um, I'll use paper card to play around with it it's like it's almost like sketching but you're sketching onto the thing the furniture itself um, and then it's the metal I, once I've sort of got an idea, um, I'll cut the designs from the sheets of, of metal and then, um, then you start inlaying it and then it's like quite a slow process to clean. With this one it's like black, um, the pigment that you're using in the gesso, and then it's painted, then it's lacquered. And so it, it's quite durable, well it's very durable actually. I hope when people look at it um, within the West drawing room, that it does stand out as a, a fun and, and very decorative piece.